Welcome aboard this Dantorp Aviation video where I today had the pleasure of attending Lufthansa's A320neo first delivery which is the first delivery of an A320neo to any airline in the world. In this video you'll see some interviews or press talks with the CEOs of Lufthansa, Airbus and Pratt and & Whitney and you'll also see what it's like to fly the new A320neo and get my input uh, or my first impressions on this new aircraft. We are very happy and proud to celebrate today together with you the start of first deliveries to Lufthansa Group and for this event, for this delivery of our new next generation AC20 Neo aircraft, I'm very proud to welcome together with you Carsten Spohr. He is chairman of the board and CEO of the Lufthansa Group. Bob Ledu, he is president Pratt Whitney, and Fabrice Berger, he is president and CEO of Airbus. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and, uh, and, and uh, I'm very pleased, of course, to, to be here today with uh, our large customer uh, for the 320 Neo. You know that we have uh, started uh, the launch uh, of the delivery process uh, already a few weeks ago. Uh, you know that the 320 Neo is uh, a fantastic commercial success. Uh, we have booked so far 4,500 aircraft, uh, which uh, will be delivered to 80 customers already. Uh, this is unprecedented. And uh, this is, uh, I think, due to uh, a series of factors. Uh, you know well the quality of the F320. Uh, this is uh, the leading single line in the market. It brings efficiency, it brings reliability, it brings uh, uh, comfort and quality of uh, travel for the passengers. So all that, of course, uh, is kept in the 320neo. The 320neo also, we marketed it at 15% uh, fuel burn reduction when we launched uh, the product. And I'm pleased to say that we will exceed this 15%. On the 9th of February, uh, Karsten, uh, our predecessors uh, uh, celebrated the first delivery of an A300 uh, to Lufthansa. So on the 9th of February 1976, 40 years ago. So we almost celebrate 40 years of partnership with perhaps, uh, I don't know, uh, 500... Uh, 582. 82 uh, Airbus aircraft delivered or ordered, delivered or ordered. And uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, I think, uh, uh, a trademark of uh, uh, Lufthansa to, uh, to be uh, the, the airline uh, accepting to uh, select the best products, uh, the most efficient, uh, and being a front runner in Europe and, uh, and in the world. So thank you very much, uh, Kashtan. Thank you very much, Bob, for, for your hard work and your support. And uh, I hand over to you. Thank you very much, uh, Bob. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, great to be here, obviously, on a wonderful occasion and especially after a very difficult year 2015 for Lufthansa, I'm of course glad that the year 2016 started on such a positive note with the delivery of the first 320neo just a few weeks ago and officially here today. We're obviously proud to be once again the launching customer for an Airbus product and quite excited still to be the first globally to have introduced this successor of not only our, but of the um, most popular short haul and medium haul aircraft, the 320. So after this, I had the pleasure of taking a picture with Karsten Spohr and Mr. Bregier from Airbus before doing a little walk around of the new aircraft on the tarmac here at Hamburg Finkenwerder. <laughs>
Now it's time to share my actual impressions of the flight. And as you can see here, boarding in Finkenwerder is a little unorthodox, but it was so exciting just seeing these Airbus employees everywhere. In the NEO, uh, Lufthansa have tried something new because they've actually put increased legroom from row one to nine. So that means there can be up to nine rows of business class, but I was lucky to snag a seat in 5A and I think in many cases business class won't really extend um, beyond row 6 or 7, meaning that if you're lucky you can actually travel on an economy ticket with extra legroom. And you can see in these pictures just how much legroom there actually was, it was incredible. I actually took these pictures using an Olo clip, and I'll link it in the description, I'm not being paid to say this, but the pictures it produced were so amazing. Have a look at how big the overhead lockers are, I'm not sure if this is new for the NEO, but they were humongous, you could fit very large suitcases up there. Here you can see just how good the legroom was, and keep in mind that I'm 6 foot 2 or 187 centimeters tall. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome on behalf of Lufthansa, the whole crew here on this A320neo on our flight to Frankfurt tonight. We have closed our doors, we are preparing now for our departure here from the position. We're going to be pushed back, taxi to the takeoff runway and perform a takeoff to the, uh, in the direction of the southwest. After takeoff, don't be surprised, don't be scared, we're going to rock our wings to say goodbye to Pink and Werder and the birthplace of this aircraft here. That's due to the fact that uh, overnight this aircraft got a little bit new 
painting here on the fuselage. We have now uh, written on our fuselage A320 Neo. We started four weeks ago with 320-200, but actually it is the first and only Neo in operation at the moment, and we are very proud of that. Then we're going to fly to Frankfurt, yes, and we're not going to touch down at Fußbüttel. That's just due to the fact that uh, we want to perform a landing and a roll in in Frankfurt at daylight operation. Our colleagues in Frankfurt ask us to do that, so maybe they have a little surprise for you in Frankfurt. So please enjoy the flight and enjoy this new aircraft. It's a beautiful aircraft. We have flown that for some flights here now. It is one of the best single aisle modern aircraft. And uh, have a good flight and a good stay here. Thank you. After this, we sped out of Hamburg, and if you want to see the takeoff video, and especially here, just how insanely quiet these engines are, you'll have to click the link in the description for the takeoff and landing videos, and they'll also pop up as cards. But here you can see the little lunch that was served on this flight. Um, I guess it's the business class equivalent lunch, and it was so delicious. Every single piece was uh, just surprisingly fresh and really enjoyable and then there was a little um, chocolate which was also great so here's a little look around the actual cabin people were walking around a lot during the flight trying to get pictures out of every different view this is the very back of the aircraft and it's actually the first plane i've been on with space flex where there's basically no lavatories in the back anymore instead they're in the actual galley where the cabin crew would usually have prepared food there's still an area for that to the right but to the left there are two toilets uh, one that's especially small all the way to the left as you can see here but it's such a great use of space i think it adds 12 seats to the cabin which helps fuel burn as well so overall the neo actually far exceeded my expectations i was so impressed by everything from the seat to the cabin layout to of course the service which is always incredible with Lufthansa and the sound has improved so significantly this is truly a huge leap in aviation I can't wait for you guys to try this plane I can't wait to try it again on longer routes with Lufthansa and with other airlines I hope you enjoyed this video make sure to check out my other videos with the A320neo and of course my airline profiles video with Lufthansa which will be up tomorrow and until then guys, fly safe.